We have given different names for macrophages depending on the location. Some examples can be in the liver, you call them cuffer cells. These play a major role in liver cirrhosis. Then we have macrophages in our brain and spinal cord, and essentially in the CNS, and those are called microglial cells. The major function of these is essentially to remove uh, old neuro all damaged neurons, protect the brain from different infections, but the good advantage that they have is that they are not exposed to as many infectious agents as any other macrophages because your central nervous system has been granted a privilege to not get exposed to as many infectious agents due to a blood ba brain barrier that prevents a lot of different pathogens entering your central nervous system. If you find uh, macrophages in your bone, you call them osteoclasts. These will play a big role in calcium regulation of your body. If the macrophages would enter your connective tissue, you would call them histiocytes. If they are found in the lungs, you call them alveolar macrophages. Remember, these are the ones that destroy and digest all different inhaled harmful agents. And we already spoke about uh, the splenic macrophages. We also have another type that is usually seen in different pathologies called granuloma. And the cells are called epithelioid cells and uh, Langerhans giant cells. So what is a granuloma? Granuloma is essentially a condition in which previously synthesized type 1 T helper cells uh, have been re-exposed to a causative agent and now they send a lot of different signals, uh, chemical messengers such as gamma interferons that will modify the macrophages into uh, more effective cells and by this modification they also change their shape. They get a shape that resembles epithelial cells and uh, also their nuclei and as they re resemble epithelial cells we call them epithelioid cells or it re refers to resembling. And then sometimes these epithelioid cells can co-influence with each other. These will form giant cells that are multinucleated and we call them Langerhans giant cells. You can watch about the function and the types of macrophages in the next videos. Thanks.